what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I have the pleasure to show you my Galaxy S8 running Android 7.1.1 brought to you by the incredible Renovate Ice team. Now this will only work on Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, mainly described in a few words, this is the main base taken from the brand new Note 8 firmware with all the Note 8 apps and the main changes already available with Android 7.1.1. There is a slightly increase in responsiveness compared to the stock Android 7.0, so you may want to consider that. A note to take in mind is that installing this kind of software on your phone may involve the emergence of possible bugs. It will get more stable and customizable in future releases, but for now, it's already great that we got your hands on it. Anyways, all the links for it, including the Telegram chat support, are listed in the description. Of course, a big shout out to the people making this possible. MWilkie, Soldier9312 and Bad News. Also, a big shout out to Faravitus for making the Notorious kernel compatible with this based on our beloved S8 or S8 Plus, including also a GPS fix for it. My gratitude also goes to the entire testing team, including Nameless, Submate, and the other people involved in this project. Okay, so without further ado, let's start with the installation process. The first thing you'll need is TWRP. If you don't know what TWRP is or how to install it on your S8 or S8 Plus, check the video in the card section. I strongly recommend you to make a backup before proceeding to the installation procedure, so in case something goes wrong, you'll be able to fully restore your current running software without any data loss. Since this is a new Android version, a full wipe is recommended before installing this ROM. Then, go to install and select the renovate zip. In Aroma Installer, you'll find some usual stuff you can already find in uh, SA stable releases for example, yet no CSE support for now. The installation is pretty straightforward, I will install all the apps possible just for you to see if there are any major visual differences between the Note 8 apps and the S8 ones. Take in mind that the first booting process will take sometimes up to 10 minutes, so be patient. At the first glance, you can already see some visual differences compared to the stock S8 software, and I'm talking about the Note 8 live wallpapers, which look better if you ask me. All of them are also integrated in the theme store, so you can check them out there if you're a wallpaper guru. So major key differences start to show up in the software information tab, as I told you, Android 7.1.1 and the new Samsung Experience 8.5 are some of the most noticeable changes right now. The main improvement in performance, as I told you before, is also noticeable. The touchscreen seems more responsive, the entire user interface seems more fluid and fast. If you're wondering if this release comes with S Pen and Air Command features, the answer is yes, but they are not really functional without the actual S Pen, as you'd expect. You can trick some of the apps and the Air Command to work with the finger by flashing Alexis, Note 8 pack from XDA, I have a video on how to do that, including all the features it brings, you may want to check it out in the card section. But from what I've heard, in future releases the team will erase all the S Pen features. Why? Well, the answer is simple and pretty self-explanatory. Because most of the S Pen features require the S Pen and all its hovering and pressure sensitivity features, hence they won't ever work on our S8 or S8 Plus. It's better to have a clean and stable base with fully working apps and features for now. Apart from that, everything else is directly taken from the Note 8, starting with the app pairing feature where you can select two apps and turn them automatically into multi-window mode where you need them. I find this feature useful in a car, for example, when you want to open up the music player and the navigation software with the press of a single button and not having to activate multi-window then select which apps to open and so on and so forth. It is faster and more reliable. Other Note 8 specific apps like the Live Message and Edge Lining, on which I made a separate video in the past, are also available in this ROM. Gaming performance was as expected, getting around 30 FPS average in Need for Speed No Limit. I opened up some of the stock Samsung apps to see if there's any other major difference visual wise or design wise and really I couldn't find any. An app which was a little bit different was the camera app having the full view features and some new stickers and what a release, Bixby Vision is not intrusive anymore with that annoying pop-up. Of course Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS work as expected as well as the iris scanner, fingerprint and all other security features. Currently the only major bug of this release, I'm not talking about the 0.1 release, is camera. 
especially the video recording which doesn't work with optical image stabilization activated. But that's okay because it's gonna be fixed in the next release. My honest opinion is that you should definitely try this new Android 7.1.1 software brought to you by Renovate Ties team and see how it goes. For me it was a seamless experience. Anyways, this was the review for today. I hope you really enjoyed it. You are welcome to check out other Renovate Ties previous videos. This was Wicked. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Let's Get Wicked and on Google Plus at Wicked is here. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like. As always, until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.